Hello everyone. A young man was in the marketplace in Baghdad when he saw a woman casting threatening glances at him. He recognised her instantly as death and terrified he ran to his master begging him for a horse so that he could flee the city. When asked the reason for his sudden departure he said, I've just seen death in the marketplace. She was looking at me in a threatening manner. Please, please give me a horse so that I can get away as fast as I can to Samara. The master gave him the horse, wished him Godspeed, and the young man galloped like a crazed man to Samara 20 miles away. Then his master went down to the marketplace where he so too saw death. He went up to her and asked her why she was casting threatening looks at his servant. I wasn't threatening him, Death replied. I was just surprised to see him in bad dad, because tonight I have an appointment with him in Samara. A sobering thought. One of the morning hymns in the prayer of the church goes like this. My destined time is fixed by thee, and death doth know his hour. Did warriors strong around me throng, they could not stay his power. No walls of stone can man defend, when thou thy messenger dost send. Now one of the more persistent themes in the Gospel is that of being alert and ready to meet the Master when he comes. The foolish person in Gospel terms is not the one who is intellectually challenged, but the person who lives his life in this world without reference to the next. As it says in one of the Psalms, the fool says in his heart there is no God above. The man in last Sunday's Gospel was called a fool because he played fast and loose with his eternal destiny by forgetting about his soul whilst at the same time indulging his body. Now when the Lord called him, he was taken by surprise. And in the story of the ten bridesmaids, five of them were foolish because when the bridegroom arrived unexpectedly at midnight, they weren't ready to meet him. The old catechism says, It is appointed unto man once to die, and after death comes judgment. Since we only get one shot at life, we're not reincarnated, like some religions believe, Getting it right is not an option. They say that the road to hell is paved with good intentions and some of the saints have said that one of the more subtle temptations of the evil one is to deceive us into thinking that we've got plenty of time. But the saints themselves didn't fall for this trick. When St. Teresa, for instance, was on her deathbed, she said that she longed for death so she could be forever united with her heavenly bridegroom. And towards the end of his life, St. John the Twenty Third was heard saying to his secretary, Look, he said, I, my bags are packed and I'm ready to go. The saintly King Edward the Confessor, seeing his friends grieving at his approaching death, says, Do not cry. I am about to leave the land of the dying to go to the land of the living. Now if these sentiments strike a chord in our heart, we are unlikely to be caught unawares when the Master eventually arrives. And I thank you all for listening and God bless you all. Oh.